All right, here's a quick tutorial on uh, Can't You Hear Me Knocking by the Stones. We're tuned in open G, G, D, G, B, E, low E, which you're not going to use much. You know the opening riff. Uh, that little... So that just on a B and an E. It's kind of, and then he also slurs it in one of the, the riffs. Here's how you play the uh, verse. It's. On the C with an F sharp imposed. So that's uh, again the C, you hammer on the F sharp. Or, This is an open G. So you pull the G, pull off the F to a D. And then you slide up on the A string, which is down a step. So that's uh, the C to the D. And you let that D ring out on the open D. is the chorus part so that's hear me running to an F then same F up here on top of C so open G to an F and that's a classic little Keith Richards line there And that, go from the G, A, up to B, to the D on the A string. This is the fun part right after the chorus. So you've got the, hear me. Three, four, and then the Congos come in and the sax, uh, and Keith plays a little figure. You can almost hear the sax on the background with that. So that's um, an F and a B. And then a C sharp uh, and an F slide up. So it's. And then he bars the G on the top. And you can catch the G.
So you bar the F. So what he's doing is a, a D, but it's a D7. It's fun. All right, the next section is that uh, leading up to the solo. Uh, he starts doing a D minor chord. It's a D minor E. So it's just a D minor and an E minor. It just keeps ascending. So it's the same shape. And then. Uh, over that, uh, Mick Taylor is doing octaves. You kind of hear it, you have to hear it. Uh, you need all that rhythm. And then... So it's just D minor and E minor, minor back and forth. And this is uh, kind of a D minor 7, but he's just playing on the top. And then um, I'll try to give you a little, just a taste of the solo. Um, Mick Taylor, clean, lots of reverb, great sound. But he does a... Uh, so that's a... And then... That bend up on the G. So in most... So you bend up, catch the C to the D. Alright. Um, he also slides... I haven't memorized the entire solo, but you get the idea. So the, the key components is that slide up, G to C, D, and then he does it descending. So you D, C, And then, um, once you get to the end of the solo, got this great little figure. So that's just C, C sharp, D, and then F and A. Pull it a little bit. So we're still in D minor. And then he changes it up a little. So that's the same C, C sharp, D, and then G.
which goes back to that E minor to D minor. And then when you play that out, the last figure is Last line out. All right, here's that last figure in a little more detail. Start on the D on the E string, F sharp on the A string. So it just walks up. So that's a little bit of a reach. So you're playing uh, let's see, an A and then a C. That's how it ends. All right, so there you have it. Good luck with that. Take it easy.